Hey everybody, it's Grigri again. We're back for another video. It is going to be Big Valleys this time. This will be the fifth one in the story mode. And so far we've done pretty good. We've five skulled everything. So we're going to see if we continue the streak. Hopefully we can. I've already spent the skulls that we earned from doing the crossing. I'll go ahead and show you real quick what I did. I went ahead and upgraded the blunderbuss to do a little bit more damage and cost less mana and I added the sometimes knockback heavy enemies unique that's pretty handy because stuff like elementals, gnolls, ogres when you when you shoot them they just plop down to the ground like a sack of potatoes and that slows them down it's, it's kind of like a, a nice little stun on the heavier guys so I did those two and then I also upgraded the damage on our unlocked dwarf guardian that we just got from uh, the last map we did and that was it that spent 10 skulls right there and that was all we had earned last time so let's go ahead and move into the game and see if we can't five skull big valleys okay this one's a little trickier and a little more chaotic because you've got um, a lot of stuff going on here and you got two portals side by side and they're gonna try to make their way through all these barricades here all the way to the back they'll be running down all three lanes or at least they'll try to and they'll end up in one of these two rifts or attempt to first they gotta bust through these barricades which hopefully they should never reach if we want to make our part time um, something else I haven't mentioned before in any of the episodes is that if you go to the loadout, you can actually see the upcoming enemies up here at the top. It shows you what you're going to be facing for that, that round. And the one thing we are going to have in here that's different that we haven't seen yet are these guys. And they are just the bane of barricades and make life a general pain in the butt when you have to have these guys. They're really quick kobolds, like these little runners, but they've got a barrel full of bombs strapped to their back, and they love to run straight for barricades and destroy them. Or you, depending on which one's closer. Um, they usually come out in you know, threes or fours, something like that. So we're gonna have those guys in here this time, and um, again, they're, they're a little bit of a frustration, because they kind of ruin your, your game plan if they start blowing up all your barricades. Alright, so let's go ahead and fix this loadout real quick. We're not going to be using spring traps in this one. I mean, we could throw it in the bar, but that's not going to do any good. Um, but we will use our Dwarf Guardians. Actually, we'll use these guys a lot. Oh, and also, you've got these big little, like, taped up and roped up cluster of bombs that you can drop on them. We'll probably pop those in the final wave or one before the final wave just to add a little extra... And you've also got these mine carts that go by. They're pretty handy. If you pop them with a shot, they'll dump lava or molten juice all over everything. So, okay. They're going to be coming down this side first. So let's go ahead and get this all set up. We're going to use these guardians this time. We're going to tuck them in the corner over here. And let's... Uh, Slow these guys down as they're coming through. And I'm going to go ahead and set this part up early in the beginning because when the sappers do come out, they come out pretty early. This will just help slow them down a, a little bit. Uh, I can't remember which portal they come out of first, but we might as well throw all that down. And that should do it. All right, here we go. Let's see if we can't five skull this one. So they're all going to try to travel down this far um, right lane, I guess. Or well, left if you're facing the portals. So we're going to let them all get bundled up in there and let our dwarves do their thing. Pretty quick. Their bombs plus our bombs will 
support guns. Oh, and if they make it past the grenades, the uh, dwarves like to smack them in the, in the forehead with a, with a hammer. Ooh. Just got hit right there. I don't know if we'll get a uh, untouchable in this one since I'm sure they'll be archers. Alright, next wave's coming. Let's see if we can't hide some... Uh, Already coming out. Oh, and there's our archers. Let's go see if I can't help these guys out a little bit. So they're gonna just try to sit back there and pick off our, our guys. Now they will start trying to run through here too. There goes our untouchable. All right, so now I'm just gonna run and go nuts. On them. Wow! So we lost a whole row of barricades already. See, that's what I'm talking about. This is not super easy one to do. It's, like I said, it's a little chaotic in the beginning. They are going to be gunning for our... Oh, somebody got by. Oh, uh, got a wreck and shop on them. Okay. Oh no. Alright, did we get them all? Or did somebody get through? Oh, we got them. So far. Start uh, out. Some more guys coming over here. Right here they go, trying to kill my guardians over there. Oh, this is kind of a mess right now. You gotta stay on top of these guys. They'll just keep coming and coming and coming. No, we did not mean to do that. But hey, why not? Let's make it a little more difficult. Get the level of interest too. I'm gonna load this thing down. That's going to help a lot. It's going to slow them down. Dump some juice. Some mold juice on them. And we really got these uh, traps a little messed up here. Kind of move a little too quick. Try to buy all this stuff up when it's all over with. So you can see how that blunderbuss is doing its thing right now. Every time those elementals get up, they just drop right back down to the ground. Skull drop. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Where are you, Skull? There you are. 
Bring it all the way around. Come on. Hey, why didn't you drop to the ground? I'm making a real mess of this one. How those went right underneath him. Come on, you're wasting my part time. Uh. Alright. Oh, we got some dead. dead guys down here. Let's get him. deal with that. We're just gonna watch this side for a little bit. Lobbing your grenades, little dwarves. Who's left? Alright, there we go. Alright. Um, let's go ahead and let's just keep going. Oh, here, here. Come to me, come to me, come to me, guys. Yeah, grenades in there. Last wave, we're gonna burn all of our uh, duct tape bombs that we got set up at the top. slow him down some more. Oh, you know what? We're just going to load it up. Oh, uh, where were the sappers? Oh, no sappers this round, huh? Bombs, but uh, really not that many guys out here. Maybe we should just let them build up. That'll take those guys out. Well, they didn't survive it. Uh, you get through. goes in and yes we got our par five skulls again the streak is still alive and we have unlocked barricade okay so this being awarded barricade now is pretty awesome 
because this guy is going to be your bread and butter in Nightmare and actually in some of the later these these later levels in War Mage difficulty. This is how you make all your choke points and kill boxes, so it's a it's it's like a fundamental trap that you'll have to use a lot. And anyway, moving on, 14 skulls, not too shabby. Let's check out the stats. I don't think we got yeah, just perfect victory, some new kill streaks or whatever. Par time was 12 minutes, and we did it in 10:14. Not not bad at all. I'll take that all day. Okay, so that wraps up another video. We'll move on to the next one. Uh, I have no idea. Actually, I think the next one might be Hidden Gulch. I know I'd said one about that a long time ago, but I have a feeling it's coming up, and that one's um, it's a fun one, but it it, it can be tricky sometimes. So anyway. Thanks again for watching. Like the video if you if if you liked it, and please subscribe. There, just click on the voodoo doll at the his head at the top corner, top right corner up here. And that'll get you subscribed real quick, and then you won't have to see that little thing anymore. And uh, yeah, I think that'll do it. So until the next video, appreciate it, you guys. This is Gree Gree, and y'all have a good night.